To write the name for FeF3, we first need to realize we have a metal and then some nonmetals. So we have a metal and nonmetal, that's going to be an ionic compound. This is considered a binary ionic compound because we have two different elements, the Fe and the F. So we use these rules here to write the name. First, we write the name of the metal. That's as it appears on the periodic table. Fe, that's iron. Next, we'll write the name of the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table as well. So F is fluorine, lowercase f. Then we replace the ending here with IDE. So we cross this out, IDE. So at this point, we have iron fluoride. But iron, that's a transition metal, and it can have a different ionic charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to three fluorine atoms. So because of that, since it's bonded to these three fluorine atoms, we could look at the periodic table, and we see that fluorine right here, group 17, sometimes called 7A, the halogens, that has a 1 minus ionic charge. So the fluorine, each fluorine, is 1 minus. So we have 3 times 1 minus. This is 3 minus. This has to be 3 plus. Because it's 3 plus, we write a Roman numeral 3 between the iron and the fluoride. And the name for FeF3 is iron 3 fluoride. This 3, that's the charge here on the iron, the transition metal. You may hear this called ferric fluoride. Ferric is the older name for the iron 3 ion. This is Dr. B with the official name for FeF3 though, iron 3 fluoride. Thanks for watching.